Chinese peacekeepers serving with the United Nations in Juba have had many reasons to celebrate over the last two days. Yesterday was the National Day of the People's Republic of China. Today, they celebrated their commitment and service to the people of South Sudan with a medal parade ceremony for the 3rd Chinese Peacekeeping Battalion to serve with the UN mission in South Sudan. Today, we recognize the dedication, commitment, and professionalism of the 700 Chinese contingent troops under the command of Colonel Ding Haoli. I commend you for your contributions across a range of critical security tasks since joining the mission in December 2016. Since the deployment of the battalion in December 2016, the Chinese contingent has worked hard to build and maintain a safe and secure environment for the people of South Sudan, including patrolling a protection of civilian sites near the UN base and taking part in search operations to keep criminals and weapons out of the site. They have also carried out patrols within the capital, Juba, as well as long-distance patrols along dangerous and damaged roads to reach vulnerable people in the remotest areas of the country. I would be remiss if I did not mention that 13 members of the contingent are women and I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude for your service in particular. The role and contribution of female officers is especially crucial in a place like South Sudan by making uniformed personnel more accessible to the most vulnerable civilians. The commanding officer of the contingent, Ding Hailong, expressed his gratitude to all UNMIS personnel for their support in helping the Chinese battalion fulfill its mandate to protect civilians and build durable peace in South Sudan. Over almost three decades, China has contributed more than 30,000 UN peacekeepers to 24 different missions. It is the second largest financial contributor to peacekeeping. <laughs>